Welcome to the NFC East Horror Show. After two weeks of football, it's official. The NFC East is an absolute mess. If you don't know the teams in the mediocre division, here's an introduction. The Philadelphia Patients. It seems the Eagles are in no rush to justify Chip Kelly's off-season upheaval of the team. So far, it's resulted in no wins. And that $42 million running back, DeMarco Murray, he's having the worst rushing start in the last 55 years. The Eagles are 0-2. The New York Choke Artists. Two big leads, many mistakes, and two losses. The Giants should be 2-0 right now. They're the opposite, but they have achieved a dubious milestone. The first team in NFL history to surrender double-digit leads to lose the first two games of the season. The Dallas bruised and hobbled. You know Jerry Jones' prized one-two combo of Tony Romo and Des Bryant? In week three, they will be sitting in Jones' press box watching Dallas play the Atlanta Falcons. Romo followed up Bryant's broken foot by breaking his collarbone in the Cowboys' 20-10 win over the woeful Eagles. The Cowboys are the first team since the early 90s to have both their starting quarterback and best receiver go out with significant injuries in the first two games of the season. Now the question, will Dallas make a move for a QB? Somewhere in Washington, RG3 is waiting for a call. Then again, Brian Hoyer is just miles away in Houston. The Dan Snyder contenders? Yes. The despair of the DMV actually has a chance to win the NFC East. That's how much of a mess this division is. Rookie running back Matt Jones was picked up by fantasy owners around the world Monday after a star-making turn in Week 2. And Kirk Cousins actually had a fine performance. He completed 23 of 27 passes in the big win over the Rams. And the wins might keep coming. Washington heads north to play the Giants this Thursday. If the Giants continue to give opponents opportunities, the Redskins may have their first win over the G-Men since 2012. Dallas will host Julio Jones and the 2-0 Falcons. With Dez Bryant out, Julio will be the most dominant player in the game and likely give Atlanta their 10th win ever over the Cowboys. And what will Chip Kelly do in Game 3 against the New York Jets? The Eagles could achieve another milestone. First loss to the Jets ever. Philadelphia is undefeated in the team's nine meetings. If they want to extend the streak, DeMarco Murray may need to gather over 10 yards.